everybody, Moira here, and it is Thursday. I just had to think, babe, because yesterday was Anzac Day, so it was a public holiday, and um, now I am on my way out to my Warnable store. I've been in Geelong early this morning, and I'm making my way out to Warnable. So I thought I would just do a quick check-in because I haven't filmed, have I? since I've been on keto? I don't believe I have. So I thought I would show you where I normally stay where I when I am in Warnable and show you the food that I made um, yesterday because I cooked up a storm yesterday just so that I could bring dinner with me and I've also bought my breakfast for tomorrow with me so I am going to do finally a what I eat in a day so let me update you on what has been happening because last week I was in Taz with you guys and then I got back and I had I told you last week that I had put on weight because it was my period week however so obviously that's all come off and now I've lost another two kilos yes because I was 143.8 before I put my weight on for my period and I'm now 141.8 oh my god I'm so excited. I am so, so close to getting out of the 40s. And you know, hold. Hold, please. Let's try that again. <laughs> um, so I was 130. Sorry. So yeah, I am almost out of the 140s. My mini goal of getting 20 kilos lost by the time I turn, by the time my birthday comes around on the 19th of May is really becoming like I can almost feel, I can really like touch it feel it because um, four kilos in uh, um, one two one two three three and a half weeks hopefully is doable and I I know that I'll have my period <laughs> just before my birthday or maybe after I think I can't remember um, but I was saying to Michael yesterday it was as hard as it is being a chick and going through you know weight fluctuations because of your period I know that I just have to get through that week because it all just comes straight back off and yesterday like when I jumped on the scales and I had dropped I was like okay happy 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 and then this morning I jumped on the scales I was like Oh my god, I'm like 141.8. I have 1.9 kilos and I'm out of the 140s. So I'm very, very excited about that. Over the weekend, I unintentionally did intermittent fasting again just because we had, um, like, we had had dinner, not late, but I wasn't then hungry in the morning so then I just waited till lunch and then at lunch we were having lunch at like two o'clock and so that's probably helped with the weight loss as well but this morning I had breakfast I had my protein pancakes oh my god when I am home I have to show you this peanut butter I was recommended it from somebody on a Facebook page that I follow and the brand is called Mavers and they didn't have crunchy peanut butter they only had smooth peanut butter but <laughs> I had I literally dipped my knife in this morning and just put it on my the top of my pancake oh it was so good so I had um, just peanut butter um, cream and like a really small amount of maple syrup and oh my word it was so so good I can't wait to find the crunchy version of it um, obviously it's not something that I would have all the time but just it was something different it actually it fit my macros um, the the brand has nothing but peanuts and salt so it was just so yummy I will show that to you when I am home and having breakfast one morning we have Michael's folks with us 
at the moment. Well, now we just have Michael's mum because his dad went off to Beijing this morning. So um, Pam's staying with us while Jeff is overseas, which is fine, which is lovely. Um, and we had dinner with them last night and they um, just wanted like a takeout and they wanted Red Rooster. Michael and I haven't had Red Rooster since December we worked out which is in incredible like we would we were fast food junkies before and to not have had junk food in four months is just incredible and I and I thought that they did like a chicken salad but they don't they do a garden salad <laughs> which was so I would I should have actually just made my own salad and bought and had the chicken but I just, it baffles me all the time when people say, don't you miss bread or don't you miss chips or don't you miss Coke or what else were they having? Oh, because like they had stuffing in the chicken that, like the piece of chicken that I got had stuffing. So I gave that to Pam because she loves stuffing. And I would normally love stuff, like I used to love stuffing, but I can't have it now. So I happily gave it to her. She goes, but don't you miss that? Like you used to love it so much. I said, yeah, I know, but I love how I'm feeling more. I love how that I'm losing weight while eating yummy food. I, I love other things more than how, you know, eating the way that I used to would make me feel, made me look. Um, so it just, it really amazed me that it's now been four months since I, January, February, no, February, March, April, oh, three months, sorry. Um, it's now, it's now been three months that I've been keto and she, every time that we see them, don't you miss bread? And that's the biggest thing because they are huge bread eaters. I think they would have bread with every meal during the day and then they have like um, supper, like at 10.30 they'll have, you know, toast with something on it and you just, I look at it now and it blows my mind. It was still, it still just baffled me that she, that people were saying, don't you miss this? And I'm like, do you know, there are times and my period week is the time where I think to myself, I had, like I had lots of conversations with myself. Perhaps we'll have a treat meal today. Perhaps we'll have something today. Perhaps we'll do this, perhaps we'll do that. So I'm like, but I'm going to feel awful and it's just not worth it. So I am going to leave it here because I am on a country road so I can just imagine the background noise in this is horrendous. And I will catch up with you when I get to my accommodation in Warrnambool. Bye. Good evening guys, it is Moira here and it is five to six and I have just arrived at my accommodation here in Warrnambool and I thought I'd give you a quick little tour of where I am staying so you can understand why I keep coming back and coming back because it's such a lovely townhouse. The lady that um, I rent these off, her name's Helen and um, she has two so they're side by side so um, I'll show you this one. So front door, and then when you come into this apartment, you this is the hallway entrance, and then this is the lounge, TV, and there's a gas fireplace, which she's got going for me. And this looks out to, I can't remember what this street is called. But if we come back into the entrance hallway, off to this side is the main bedroom and I haven't unpacked yet. <laughs> then you come back in and we'll go left and you come into this first bathroom. So it has a washing machine, toilet, spa bath. You can use this as a shower because um, it does have a shower head on it down there that you can use, but I don't use that as a shower. And then this is the second bathroom. So it has a normal bath, shower, sink, and then a, another toilet in there. And then we come down here. And if you wanna go out into the backyard, that's the door. I have never been out there. Um, this is the kitchen. 
so it has all it's very modern and it has all the things that I could possibly need my food that I've packed for overnight this is my lunch bag and then I got some water and goodies from Woolworths dining table and we're back at the lounge so I'm just going to unpack my food and then I'm going to show you uh, what I ate today So I've unpacked all my food, so I'm going to quickly show you what I brought with me. So tomorrow for breakfast, I am going to have my Audi bread. So I've got two slices here with what's in here. So I have wrapped up two eggs, two eggs, so I can have two eggs, scrambled eggs on toast. And with my scrambled eggs, I have grated cheese and butter. And Helen actually gives you butter in the form of these. So I will have one, uh, sorry, two of these for my eggs and then one each for my toast. And then I want to get some put, and then I'm going to put some Vegemite on them. So that's going to be my breakfast and I find that's the perfect start to my day. I do have a long drive back into Melbourne tomorrow morning and it's quite early. So I find that's going to be the perfect start to my day. Then I have my spinach salad and I serve it, have it, and I have it with uh, tuna and this is in olive oil. Again, I have... Um, a tablespoon of mayonnaise, a tablespoon of sour cream, small amount of salsa, parmesan cheese, pepper, tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and tablespoon of MCT oil and it is yum. This is what I made last night. So this is a keto parmesan chicken and this is a loaded cauliflower rice. However, I didn't have cauliflower, I did have broccoli and cauliflower so I just did the same thing this is pre-riced I purchased it from Coles and it has so you do um, I will put a link to the I will put a link to the recipe from Pinterest that I found both of these on because this is really good it's a little bit bland so the next I will make it again because it is super easy but um, I do need to put some more spices in this I haven't tried this yet I'm gonna try it tonight and then I wasn't sure I just I wasn't sure and I thought from Woolies I'll just get a garden salad to have tonight and then <laughs> The thing that I probably shouldn't have purchased was a Quest Bar. I like to do half a Quest Bar and cream, but I kind of got Halo Top. So I would have two tablespoons of this, which isn't even, so one serving is 71 grams. So that's not, what I would have isn't even one serve. And then I'll have it with blackberries. Cause I really liked these last week when I had them in Taz. While I was in the health food aisle, I found this. Again, these aren't ideal, but when I'm driving, I do, I put, I'm gonna need something because I'm gonna leave here quite early and not get to Melbourne till 11.30 and I don't wanna be hangry. So I got this whipped low carb bar and it is the, ah, oh, I thought it was the English toffee. It's the chocolate flavor. I haven't tried this one, so hopefully it's good. And then I purchased three bottles of water. So as you know, this is my liter bottle, which I still have my second liter to get through today. And then when I'm in Melbourne, I take these two out with me. So this is a 1.2 liter bottle of water and a one liter. So I know that I'm getting two liters of water when I am out and about. So I brought it with me. So I purchased three 1.5 litre bottles because I'll have water tonight. I want enough to fill both of these bottles for tomorrow and then have another litre in the morning. So that's the plan. One other thing that I haven't talked about is this. So 
I was put onto this again by a Facebook group. <laughs> the idea of it is that it protects um, your cells from free radicals and it is an antioxidant. So it says here that it is um, found in plants responsible for absorbing and transforming energy from the sun. Um, I don't know if I've noticed a huge difference since taking this. It has only been a week and a half so at the end of this week will be two weeks and like it's quite pleasant to taste it's spearmint flavored again i did throw it into my pa um into my pals oh god into my fitness pal and it doesn't have anything so i'm not having anything that i shouldn't be having um but yeah i just wanted to show you that because i don't really take a lot of supplements the only supplement that I take on the regular is my magnesium tablets. And again, I'm not, I want to find a, another magnesium tablet because I'm not confident that these are doing it for me. Um, there is one that I have heard about, it's by Bioceuticals. And I really want to track that down and try that one. But I have a huge container of these, so I'm going to use it until I am done. But now I am going to get changed, take my makeup off, you know the drill about that stuff, um, unpack, and then I'm going to have some dinner. I, do I have to do any work tonight? No, I don't. And it's Thursday, so that means tomorrow's Friday. Um, I do have a meeting in the morning that's why I'm racing back to Melbourne but once that's over my day um, will be on the up and then it's Friday and we have a jam-packed weekend so I will see you oh I'm in Perth next week I'll see you in Perth have a fantastic weekend and I will see you next week bye <laughs>